I'm going to show you my review of the Apple iPad keyboard dock. I just got it today. Um, just going to do a brief review of it. So it looks, it's pretty heavy. It's not, um, it almost feels like it's double the weight of the, the wireless Bluetooth one that, that Apple makes. This one, it's got the dock connector in the back so you can plug it in and charge it. Um, listen to music too. It's got a few um, buttons on, on the top that are meant just for the iPad. Um, let me go ahead and put my iPad in here so you can see what I'm talking about. So set my iPad in that dock there. Okay. And um, we have a home screen button, which will take you back to the home screen. Uh, the search, let's go back to the home screen again. Search button, which will take you to the search. Then you've got your brightness settings on here. You have a photo setting, which is cool. Um, oh no, let me get out of that. Okay. Photo setting, which is cool. Um, you also have a keyboard setting um, button on here. So when you press the keyboard button, wait for pages to pop up here. Okay. You press the keyboard button guess it's supposed to bring up the keyboard. Okay, there we go. Let's try that again. There we go. Brings up the keyboard. Have a button right here that does absolutely nothing, so it's blank. Um, music buttons. Play. Have the at your fingertips. Rewind. The fast forward. Stop. IPhone Volume buttons. Have the at your and also a lock button. So... Okay, let me put in my password here. All right. <clears throat> so I think that's cool. My issue with this keyboard is that um, I can't put it in landscape mode or portrait mode. I'm sorry, landscape mode and type with it. It's in portrait right now, which is awesome, but it has to be in a dock connector in order for it to, um, to be used. So you can't put it in landscape mode. Or I'm sorry. Yeah, landscape mode. Um, looks good. You just can't type with anything because it has no Bluetooth. So I don't, I honestly don't know what I'm going to use this for. So, it, yes, my Bluetooth is on, if that's what you're wondering. So Bluetooth is definitely on here. So what's my solution? Well, my solution was ding, to get the Apple wireless keyboard which costs the exact same as that keyboard, $69.99. Um, also bought a card dock, um, card holder from Office Depot for $1.29. <clears throat> so I guess my solution cost a little bit more, but I think it works better. So you can go straight to... Um, actually, let me start here with the different functions of the keyboard. So... You've got the first setting that does not take you back to the home screen. It does do brightness. That setting does nothing. That does nothing. That does nothing. That does nothing. I can play music with this. If I press the button correctly. Oh, there we go. So I can play music with this volume is off. Stop it. Um, the lock screen does not work with it. But honestly, for me, that's all I need. Because when I'm going to be using this keyboard, is mostly when I'm typing stuff in pages. Or if I'm writing a longer email. Or if I'm doing an invoicing for work or something like that. I find this setup to work fairly well. Um, for me, the best part about this is how small and thin this keyboard is. I can stick this in my Timbuktu bag, in my messenger bag, and I can be on the go. This one, I can't. I mean, it's it's pretty thick, it's long, it's kind of awkward. This piece right here, this top piece, I wish it would fold down somehow. I wish this piece would fold down here and then maybe this would fold down again. Um, that would make it a little bit smaller, but I don't know. That's So that's my opinion on it. I'm pro probably gonna end up taking this one back 
and uh, just keep my Apple Bluetooth keyboard. Um, had to send to me as soon as they were available. So um, I, I was thinking it was going to work out a little bit better. I think this keyboard would be awesome if it was Bluetooth enabled. Um, and if it even if it had like a little USB cable that I could take around and plug into the side of it. But I just, that's a lot of extra work when I could just use a Bluetooth function right here and still have the charger side of it open to plug into something and charge it. Um, still have the headphone jack open right there. Uh, so that's my review of both of the keyboards with the iPad. I'm going to go with the Apple wireless keyboard for this one. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, please let me know what you think. Thanks.